<clears throat> okay, so here we have, other than not being signed yet, the finished watercolor project of my double nebulas. With some baby ones there in the sky. As you can see, the stippling left this Milky Way kind of look. Um, which is basically what space I imagine would look like. And some of the other touches that I've added are very thin little white lines around dark areas to make them pop, give them dimension. And I put in the stars, got a couple shooting stars there. You can see there's a shooting star here, shooting star there. And here is some of the outlining done around the dark areas so that it looks three-dimensional. And these two little guys, I just stuck them in there. Another shooting star there. So as you can see, this gives it a really nice look. Now to make your stars, it's easy. So I'm going to show you how to make a couple of stars. I don't need any more stars, but I'll put a few more in there just to show you. I took straight liquid white watercolor and I put it down on my little palette here so, and I'm taking a liner brush the smallest liner brush you've got because you can make small stars with it or you can make big stars so let's go over to the sky here we'll go up to this dark corner and to make a, a star depending on how big you want it you just hold your brush let me see if I can angle it so you can see and you're going to do just a boom just basically touch it and it makes a tiny tiny little star if I want to make a bigger star I just a little bit more pressure pull it up and it's a little bit larger now if I want this to like radiate as you have it down just kind of pull it away and it makes it a bigger star just tiny tiny little tiny little brush strokes just kind of like this make sure you can see that okay and that is how I added the stars and hopefully you like this video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about how to get these colors working and all that, just let me know. And thank you for watching. And please share with all your friends.